everybody, I'm Ace Hearts Fox, and I'm here today with Sherbert. Hi, Sherbert the Dancer. Alright, hang, hang on, I gotta adjust it. Hang on, I gotta get a good signal. You get a taco bell. Oh, no, I almost got it. Ah, just me, Sherbert. Here, it's getting there. Uh, oh, I think I got the English. Wait, uh, that one, that one. Is he good? What the heck? Success! What did you do? Magic. Witchcraft! Welcome to First Fruit Friday! Today we're here it's, with Sherbert! Oh, it's Sunday! It's... Oh, oh, sorry! As always, it's the one and only Ace of Hearts Fox! Yeah, and today we're gonna talk about shyness! Shyness, what's that? Like, for instance, if you see an adorable fursuiter and you have no idea how to walk up to them or talk to them, and you just think to yourself, oh my goodness, I don't want to screw up this interaction. If someone's feeling shy and they don't really know how to express themselves or if they don't really know how to reach out to people, what would you say to someone who thinks that they can't be themselves around people? You can always be yourself. Mm -hmm. The most important thing to realize is that everyone is unique. I would say that one of the biggest things for a lot of people when they're shy is that they're just scared that if they, if they want to talk to someone that they admire mm -hmm. or if they want to talk to somebody that they just think has some sort of quality about them that they think is interesting, that maybe if they tried to talk to that person or tried to get to know them, that it just might not work out. Right. It, and one thing to keep in mind all the time is that sometimes, even if you do everything right, it might not work out if you're trying to meet someone new. I think one of the important things is to realize how life-changing is this event. Really, if it's not that life-changing, what do you have to lose? Exactly. You're not gonna lose your house, your wife, you kids. I hope not. Humor helps to break the ice. Absolutely. As long as you do it properly, it's not too offensive humor. Don't do offensive humor. Don't do offensive humor. Something that a lot of people have also been talking about is just uh, if they go to a convention and they see an artist that they really like, they might not feel like that they can just go talk to them. But I mean, no matter who they are, whether they're an artist or a fursuiter or a musician or any kind of thing that interests you, they're still just a person. They are just a person that does those things. And I'm sure that if anybody, I mean, I don't know about you, but if someone appreciated what you do, then you would love to hear from them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And just remember, they might be as shy as you. Like people like us, like even, that uh, seem really extroverted on the outside, we can be really, really shy and introverted on the inside. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> are you shy and introverted on the inside? No, I just had a brain fart. Oh. Oh, hold on, clear the air. There we go. Ugh. Silent but deadly. Oh, that's my real name. Oh, no. Sherbert Silent but deadly. Wait, I don't last name. What's your last name? I don't know. Don't dox me. Sherbert Silent but deadly, I don't know. Sherbert Silent but deadly, don't dox me? Yeah. That's his full name. So wait a minute. So, so like, if you were a dog for a suitor, uh -huh. and you got doxed, would you be a dachshund? Sorry, that I'm here until Thursday! Like if they see someone that they really admire, like they know they want to meet them and say hi, but maybe they just don't quite know what to say at all. They just want to have some kind of face-to-face -face interaction with this person that they think is really interesting. No pain, no gain. It never hurts to try. If you're ever too scared to just go and have an interaction, like I would say, especially if it's someone at a, at a con that has a booth or something, as long as you have something nice to say, and as long as you say it genuinely, then you're probably going to be okay. Absolutely. If you like, if you walk up to someone and you are you're just flubbing over your words, that's okay. Just take a deep breath. I do it all the time, actually. I'll see an artist that I really, really like, and I'll go up to their booth and I'll try to compliment their work, and I just completely blank on anything to say. But when in doubt, just say something genuine. Say something honest. If you really do admire their artwork, tell them. Let them know. Hey, your sketches are really cool. Or hey. You're, you're one of my favorite fursuiters. <laughs> oh, thank you! Uh -huh. I'm your favorite! Uh -huh. I'm not your silver medal anymore! Uh, yeah, you're totally my favorite, Sherry. Uh -huh. <laughs> thank you! But see, just even little things like that, where just as long as what you're saying is making that person feel good, then it's going to be an okay interaction. And even if they don't respond positively to something you're saying... It's not a zero-sum game! Yeah! It's not going to work out 100% of the time, but the best thing you can do is just be yourself. Don't ever change who you are to try to overcome that shyness because then you're not being true to yourself. You need to be honest with who, with who you are so you can show that person to everyone. And the people who respond positively to the person that you are are the people that you're gonna wanna surround yourself with. 
being genuine is the key to success. Absolutely. If you're ever in a situation where you're feeling a little shy, just remember that the other person is probably also feeling a little shy. Everybody has their insecurities. Everybody has insecurities, so it's very uh -huh. important that you just be yourself <laughs> and try. It never hurts to try. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this week's First Suit Friday. Thank you so much for being with me today, Sherbert. Oh, you're very welcome. I so much I'm happy to be in here. Is there anything that you want to you wanna shout out to your, your stuff? You got, you got a channel and you've got social I, medias. I do. I have social media uh -huh. and I have a YouTube channel. Yeah. And I'm all over the place. And they're I all going to be in the description down yeah. below. So please like and subscribe to his stuff too. Check out my anime and my manga and my first really videos all across Japan and surrounding areas. Where he's gonna save the world! The world! The world! And surrounding environments! Uh -huh. Happy Year's Year Friday! Like and comment and subscribe and oh oh also check out uh we both have Patreons, don't we? We sure do! I'm gonna have the credits for the Patreon people rolling right here next to Sherbert. <laughs> what the No, don't you bite okay. me up! Don't it's you okay. bite me up! They're credits, they're credits, they're not gonna hurt you! No! They're just credits. Yeah, but you're not supposed to cover me up like Mike no, like Wazowski! No, it's okay! You're gonna be okay. They're just credits. They're just names of beautiful people who are nice enough to support the channel. It's gonna be okay. It's get, gonna be okay. Get off me! Get they're off me! No! Ah, they're ah, oh, they're gone! Ah, they're gone! No, no, they're gone! They're gone! Ah, they're all nice people. <laughs> I know, but I feel dirty now. They all touched me. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. So I'm, I'm gonna clean Sherbert because he feels gross after getting touched by credit sequences. Yeah. Well, thanks again for watching, everybody. Uh, my name is Ace of Hearts Fox. And I'm Sherbert! And this has been a First Suit Friday video. I hope you all enjoyed it. In the meantime, we will all see you in the next video. All right, here we go. Hey, okay. three, two, one. <laughs> Psh!